This is your boy Nuts Game here, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the FIFA 18 marquee matchup predictions and investments for April 17th, 2018, guys. Um, we're gonna be looking at predictions. We're gonna be looking at some different teams and some different matchups that I think could get in the marquee matchups. And we're also gonna be looking at investments for these teams, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel and you want to get a weekly man of match marquee matchup team of the week investment guide. Um, Hit that subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel. Or if you just want good sniping, mass bidding filters, good trading methods in general, and know how to trade. Or if you want good Fortnite content and FIFA content as well, guys, hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video. Smash that like button, guys. I'm trying to get FIFA and Fortnite content on this channel because, I mean, FIFA's really dead besides trading. So I'm going to try to mix it up and get as much content out as possible, guys. So like I said, hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video. And um, also, guys, check out my vlog, entertainment, and prank channel. That link is in the description. The name of that channel is Deontay Nails. Also, guys, one last thing. Check out my Twitter at Nails Gaming, guys. And I also do live stream FIFA and Fortnite um, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nails Gaming. The link is in the description. I'm looking to do, like, some coin giveaways and some uh, V-Buck giveaways. So go check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description. Subscribe to that or follow that Twitch channel. Um, and uh, I'll be streaming every day. Um, around 6 p.m. UK time, which 6 to 6:30 p.m. somewhere in that time, that's where I'll start UK time, and then that is like 12 to 12:30 p.m. Central time if you live in the U.S. And then I also do a night stream starting around 7 p.m. U or it'll be around 1 1 a.m. UK time, and that's around 7 p.m. Central time if you live in the U.S. So we're gonna get into the the video today. Smash that like button. So basically, guys, we're gonna look at the marquee matchups, guys. Uh, the first game I have here is Man United versus Tottenham. That's a really big game in the BPL. I also have Arsenal versus West Ham. That's a really um, looked at and talked about game this week. Um, next matchup we have is Dortmund versus Leverkusen, guys, followed by Feyenoord versus AZ and um, Colorado Rapids versus Real Salt Lake. And uh, this week in, in our marquee matchup prediction video, we have five matchups. I think it's five. One, two, three, four. We have five. And what I'm going to start doing, guys, is I'm going to start showing y'all on more matchups because, I mean, just having four matchups is, is just not going to cut it, guys, because EA, they throw so many curveballs with the marquee matchups. I want to give y'all more options, um, and I want to I show y'all all, the, really, the options that you have. And I feel like these are the highest probability of games to happen that are predictable because some games are not predictable, guys. Some games people don't even predict right. No one pre predicts right because EA just does so many curveballs. And the whole point of this video and the whole point of making marquee matchup prediction and investment videos and watching them is so that you can invest in two different ways. You can invest to um, do the SBCs. So people who like to do the marquee matchup SBCs, um, you can invest in, in these cards now. So you will be able to get them for cheap. And, and if these players do get a marquee matchup, then they won't. you won't have to pay two or three, four or five thousand coins for them. Because once these players, they do get a marquee matchup, their price skyrockets, guys. So a lot of people like to invest in, in advance. So that's one way of doing it. And the other way of doing it is invest in these in, in a bulk. And what I mean by that is I mean investing in these, like in buying a ton, and then um, selling them in the hype. So the way to do that is, for example, say you buy 100 combined Arsenal, Tottenham, um, Man United, West Ham, uh, Dortmund, and Byron Leverkusen players. What you would do is you would sell those players in the hype, which is around 30 minutes before the marquee matchups come out. And the reason why you sell before in the hype is because if the players don't get a marquee matchup, you'll still be able to make profit in the hype. Because the players, they usually go up three to 700 coins per card in the hype, guys. Um, sometimes even 1,000 coins in the hype. Just depends on how early you pick these cards up in the week. And I'll try to start getting these videos out earlier so y'all can pick up um, these cards a little bit earlier in the week for cheap. And, um, yeah, that's that's the two ways to do it, guys. So every Tuesday, 6 p.m. UK time, 12 p.m. Uh, Central time if you live in the U.S., the marquee matchups come out. So you'd be looking to sell at around 5.30 p.m. UK time and 11.30 a.m. Um, Central time if you live in the U.S. So those would be the times to start really looking at what the cards are going for and start really offloading them and selling for profit. So what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at investments for these teams. Um, and like I said, if you want to invest just to do the SBCs uh, for cheap and not have to worry about having to pay a lot of coins for these cards to do the SBCs, you can invest in just one or two from each team. But if you want to invest in bulk and make a lot of coins from this, uh, you can invest in a bunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, first of all, 
Uh, Man United versus Tottenham. I would say, guys, this game is fairly simple. Just invest in non rare golds uh, from both teams. Uh, let's see, we can take a look actually. Uh, we'll take a look at this Tottenham, Man United. Um, I would say invest in them as cheap as possible. They're probably a little bit inflated right now. They're, I mean, they're going for a couple hundred coins a card right now, guys. I would just honestly pick them up for as cheap as possible. And that, I mean, that's just the best way to do it. If the cheaper you pick them up for, the cheaper or the more you'll profit you'll be able to make, the more you'll be able to sell them for. Um, next up, um, more investments are for sure Arsenal versus West Ham. Like once again, investing in non rare goals for as cheap as possible, guys. Um, even, I mean, some of these rare goals like Wilshire, um, try to get these cards for really, really cheap because, I mean, these BPL games, they usually have a high. Um, overall requirement so I mean if you do um, invest in some of these rare golds from these teams I mean that is also a good investment so just invest in golds from all four of these BPL teams and that uh, that will make you that'll, that'll keep you safe um, don't overpay don't buy any of the 83 84 overalls because you won't never really need those but for sure those 75 to, to 81 rated players yeah go ahead and buy those um, because those are where you're gonna make your money off of and I mean, even if look at to invest in maybe a few silvers for really, really cheap, maybe a few silvers, that wouldn't be a bad investment. And then Dortmund versus Leverkusen, guys. Um, this game, invest in golds, non rare and rare golds. And also, maybe even look to invest in a, a couple silvers as well, guys. Pick these cards up for as cheap as possible. That's just, I mean, that's always the motto. That's always the motto. I mean, just pick them up for as cheap as possible. Look to make a couple hundred coins a card. Next up is Feyenoord versus AC, AZ, guys. Battle the uh, teams in the area of VC League, guys. I would say pick up for sure golds and for sure silvers. Um, for these games right here, you don't really need to pick up silvers unless you're just unless you're just trying to just pick up cards for really really cheap. But for these games right here, guys, I would say um, these two especially these two matchups right here, I would say definitely invest in golds. And, and definitely invest in silvers. Um, for the AZ Feyenoord game, guys, I would say pick up uh, non-rare golds and, and rare and non-rare uh, silvers for sure. And for the um, for the Colorado Rapids versus Real Salt Lake game, I would for sure invest in silvers. Maybe a couple golds, but really silvers and bronzes for this game, game guys. Um, there's not a lot of golds in, in the um, MLS, so they're really not going to make you, you use a really super high... Um, a super high requirement for these players so if you pick up some silvers and some bronzes guys especially in the hype if you sell them in the hype guys you'll be able to make good profit because these silvers and bronzes they always go up the most in the hype simply because there's less of them on the market there's more people that are trying to pick up any of these cards from any from these teams really people are really looking to pick up any cards from the, from these teams so for that reason if you invest in silvers and bronzes they're going to go up more because there's less that's just that's just the common sense way to invest that's just how it is so i mean that's really um all the investments that i have for y'all this week for these um just like i said pick them up for as cheap as possible don't overpay um and i mean really guys all all these these are just simple trading tips guys and i mean once you get s several hundred thousand coins you're gonna look to start investing um, in informs and I did do an, an inform or team of the week investment video for this team of the week um, That video is up on my channel. I uploaded it like two one or two days ago Go check it out if you have a couple hundred thousand coins like four or five six hundred thousand coins Look to pick up some of these cards from these like Danny Welbeck. He's a really good card to pick up. He's cheap um, And he's from a good league from a good nationality um, Also, let's see I spots is a really good one to pick up. He's cheap. He's from a good nationality good league He'll go up a lot in price, and I mean, Marcelo. Like, I, I did a full team of the week investment guy, guys. Look to pick up some of these informs, and um, that that that's that link will be in the description as well, guys. But thank y'all for watching, guys. If y'all have any questions um, on the marquee matchups or really any investments, guys, I do have a Patreon. You can go um, support the Patreon, and um, that link will be in the description as well. Also, you can DM me on Twitter anytime. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible, guys. Like I said, thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. It's been your boy Nels Gaming. 
Team of the week, team of the season is around the corner. So make sure y'all start investing in team of the week players to kind of make more coins and get more coins for a team of the season. Peace out, guys.